So we are gathered here today at this memorial site, like others at memorial sites all across America, to remember, to honor, and to teach, which is the mission of Reeves Across America. Remember that we are one nation with one flag. We are all proud to be Americans that live in a free society made up of many people of different ethnicities and faith who work in every occupation imaginable. However, we know that the freedoms we enjoy today have not come without a price. Lying in this sacred ground and in cemeteries throughout this nation are men and women who gave their lives so that we can live in freedom and we can live without fear. At this time, we're going to honor the veterans who served and are in serving in each branch of the military. At this time, Bob Frazier will lay a remembrance wreath in memory of those who served and in honor of those who do serve in the United States Army. Jim Blanich will lay a remembrance wreath in memory of those who served and in honor of those who are serving in the United States Marine Corps. Bill Annette will lay a remembrance wreath in memory of those who served and in honor of those who are serving in the United States Navy. John Beckbar will lie, lay a remembrance wreath in memory of those who served and in honor of those who are serving in the United States Air Force. Joe Pinkoski will lay a remembrance wreath in memory of those who served and in honor of those who are serving in the United States Coast Guard. Neil Burgess will lay a remembrance wreath in memory of those who served and in honor of those who are serving in the United States Merchant Marines. And Larry Wise will lay a remembrance wreath in honor of the 93,129 United States servicemen from all branches of the service whose last known status was either prisoner of war or missing in action. These individuals have never returned to their families and homes. We honor you, we remember you, and we will never forget you. Thank you, gentlemen, for participating with us today. The wreaths before you represent our commitment as the United States to remember the fallen. We also want these wreaths to symbolize our honor to those who have served and are serving in the armed forces of our great nation and to their families who endure sacrifices every day on our behalf. To our children, we want you to understand the freedoms that you enjoy today have come with a cost that someday you may wish to pay for yourself. As a nation standing together, we can defeat terrorism, hatred, and injustice. Thanks to our veterans, we have the freedom to pursue that. At this time, we're going to honor the memory of the veterans who have passed before us as Blake McDowell and Timothy Nixon play taps.
We're concluding the ceremony, and I want to let you all know that after we retire the colors, we'll begin placing the wreaths on the veterans' graves. Throughout the cemetery, you're going to find boxes of wreaths, and each veteran's grave in the cemetery is marked with a U.S. flag. I'm going to ask that as you place the wreaths today, that you say the name of each person upon whose grave you lay a wreath out loud, and you take a moment to thank them for their service to our country. It's a small act that goes a long way um, towards keeping the memory of our veterans alive. If you'd like, and I'd really encourage the youngsters among us to um, take a picture of the veterans' grave, and when you go home today, research them and see what you might learn about them. I think you'll find that they were real Americans with families, with mothers and fathers, sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles. They were more than just a statistic or a grave that's in the cemetery. I think um, it's important for you to know that saying the name out loud is an important part of the ceremony across this nation, but I think what's really special for us here in Gallatin is that having these wreaths on these graves are going to be really meaningful to someone's family member when they come to visit that grave on Christmas. So I think, you know, I think about those people that come and see the grave and how special that must be to them. And I think um, that's an important thing to think about as well. Realize we're not here today to decorate graves. We're not here to remember these veterans' deaths. We're here today because we're, we're here to remember their lives. Each wreath is a gift of appreciation from a grateful American, and that's you all here today. And we here in Gallatin are all saying thank you to our veterans. At this time, we're going to retire the colors. Again, I thank you all for being here today. I wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas, and certainly I wish God's blessings upon each of you today and all the days ahead. Have a good day. I'm a veteran. I'm a son of a veteran. I'm the nephew of four World War II veterans. My wife is the daughter of her mother and father were World War II veterans. And I, I'm the grandson of a gold star mother, so <laughs> it means a lot. It's in the family. Thanks. Yeah, we're not, we're not acknowledging their deaths. We're remembering their lives. This one says Floyd Elliott. It's always important when we do this wreath laying that the person laying the wreath say the person's name. When I found the flag, I thought it, that it was going to be fun because it actually is fun. Uh, like whatever reason they don't teach them, they need to know the past so they can deal with the future. And you can't take freedom for granted. I tell everybody, uh, somebody's paying for freedom every day. I have family that has passed military. I have a great grandfather that passed away in World War One. Uh, I have a cousin now that is active duty at Fort Campbell. And anything we can do as a country to support our military armed forces, it's what we need to do to bring this country together.